3D surfaces are harder to edit than 3D solids. For example, there's no such thing as booleans for surfaces. One thing you can do with surfaces is to copy faces, and that can be a handy way to create a complex shape out of an easier to create shape. In another tutorial, we showed you how to create this loft using a square and a circle, and it's quite easy to do. Go up here to the surface tab and choose extract faces. Down here on the command prompt, it asks me to select faces to extract, so I'm going to click on this one. And then you see the move option, so I type M, press enter, and then pick two points to move that extracted face to the side. On the properties bar, we see it's still a surface, but it's a fairly complex surface. It would be much more difficult to create this surface using an arc and a line. The sweep command sweeps a profile along a path. When you select the command from the surface tab, then BricsCAD automatically goes into surface mode, as you can see on the command prompt. The first prompt is to select the profile entity. I'm going to select this handrail outline. Press enter to continue. Select the sweep path or else enter an option. I'm going to enter an option to twist path by 45 degrees. So the profile will be twisted from one end to the other going through a total of 45 degrees. And now the sweep path is this spline that I've drawn beforehand. There's the instant result. Now following this we can use the extract faces command, x faces command. Say pick this particular little surface enter M for move, pick here, and bring it over there. So you can see how you've created a fairly complex shape quite easily. One more thing you can do with this surface is to use the thicken command. Click on the solid tab, then choose thicken, select the surface, press enter to continue, and then it asks for a thickness value which you then specify by dragging or by entering a value. When you select it, you'll notice that the property reports that it's a 3D solid. The DM twist command is kind of like the revolve command in that it needs an axis about which to twist the surface. So I've drawn here a red line which represents the axis and then from the surface tab I'll choose twist. First thing BricsCAD asks me is the object to twist. Then I press enter to continue. And then it asks for the start point of the twisting axis. Now, uh, you're not only selecting the axis here, you're also selecting how far along the twisting occurs. So you can have it for the full length of the surface or just partial. So I'm gonna use near object snap to grab a point here and near object snap to grab a point there. Now it asks for the start point of twisting, and I think that prompt is a bit wrong. What it's asking is, which end should it start twisting from? And so I'm going to say, pick this end. And then finally, I'll put in an angle of 90 degrees. What's happened here is that because I picked the starting point of the twisting, this portion of the surface remains vertical as in the original. Then this was the point where I specified to start the twisting and the point where I specified to end the twisting and then along the way the surface is twisted by 90 degrees. You notice that the transition from the uh, flat to twisted section is somewhat abrupt and BricsCAD has a way to smooth that out. So let's restart the twist command select the item, do the start and end points again, choose the starting side. You see there's an option called continuity, so I'll enter in C, and there's three of them, G0, G1, and G2. Basically G0 is the default and that gives you that abrupt turn. G1 and G2 increasingly smooth it, so let's put in G2, and then uh, twist angle as before, 90 degrees, and now let's examine this and you can see that it's a smoother transition from the straight section to the twisted section. Mm -hmm.